Okay. I am here with Jamie. She is an IEA coach and practitioner. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Good. How are you, Shauna? I'm good. I'm excited to talk about IEA today. Me too. I love the IEA program so much and it has really changed my life. So I'm here. I'm so excited to share what I've learned through the program. Yeah, I love um, how excited you always are about IEA. So you are one of the first people that came to mind. Do you want to um, introduce yourself and what you do in your own business? Sure. So my name is Jamie Lacazzi, as Shona had already mentioned. Um, my personal brand is Miss Jamie Lee, and I am helping women reconnect to themselves to create a happy relationship with oneself so that they can then create happier relationships and more fulfilling relationships with others to live the life that they desire. Um, and I use all the tools that I've learned from IEA to build my business. And actually it's funny because I never imagined running my own business before doing IEA. And now I'm getting ready to launch. Yeah. So I love your business, by the way. Um, I am a follower. I love it. Um, and talking about how you didn't even intend to have a business before IEA, can you talk a little bit about what you did before joining IEA? So before IEA, I had a nine to five job that I thought was my dream job. I was a forensic scientist in uh, Westchester County, New York. And how I got into IEA was I was going through like a really rough patch in my life. Um, my grandfather had passed away. I was struggling with relationships um, with my family, with my partner at the time, and even work. I had a toxic relationship with my job. Um, it was very demanding and didn't feel good for, you know, it, but it was my dream job. So I just continued to do it. And um, I was really anxious, really stressed, really overwhelmed all the time. And nothing I was doing was working. And then also COVID was coming. Uh, COVID was starting. And so I had a lot of free time and I started listening to podcasts and I came across Emily's podcast. And that's how I came across IEA. And it was the way it was advertised was it was an energy healing course where you would learn Emily's modality of energy healing. And I just was like, this is so different. I've never done this before. Um, maybe this is what I need to get out of feeling overwhelmed, anxious, stress. So I enrolled in the course and it literally changed my life. Yeah, it seems like the energy healing really called to you. It was probably overwhelming and confusing to think you were in your dream job, but it didn't feel good. So I wonder like exploring that you know, that's probably why the energy healing part called to you. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I always thought I was going to be a, I knew I always wanted to help people, but I thought it was going to be in the form of being like a doctor or, you know, something to that extent. Um, and I actually like just before enrolling in IEA, I did um, an internship where I was able to um, shadow a doctor and it was not for me. And I really felt lost because that's what I did my whole life. Like I prepared my whole life to be a doctor and then I'm getting to the final step. I'm getting ready to cross that finish line of like reaching that goal. And I found that I didn't really like it. I didn't have a passion for it. And I was kind of lost, but I knew I still really wanted to help people. And this never came across my mind of like, I can help people through energy healing. Yeah. And, and that's a way to connect more with people, right? Um, yeah. As opposed to like being a doctor, you have to be um, more um, left brained in that. I feel like you have to kind of take some space in between too much connection and 
Um, you definitely seem like someone who wants to connect more to people and help them in that way. So that makes sense to me knowing you. Um, so when you being new to the energy healing world and seeing that um, IEA was offering to learn um, to teach you Emily's modality, but also the business aspect um, where were you at um, or where was your mind at in that process of like, oh, I really want to learn this healing modality, but I'm not so sure I want to have a business. Well, like I said, like the energy healing really resonated with me. And again, it was something that I hadn't tried yet. So I was really drawn to that and my mind going into it was, okay, it's a six month course. Like you're not required to launch a business after starting IEA. Um, so I just was like, I really want to learn the energy healing. I'll do that part. And if I learn a little bit of business, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it could like, if I, I wasn't planning on starting my business during the course, but those business classes or the strategies and the tools that Emily gives you in the certification, I just figured like I could apply them in the work that I was doing at the time, you know, right? yeah, like improving an email seat. Like, you know, we talk about, uh, Emily loves to give, um, tools, like the different tools that she uses and the different platforms that she uses and the experiences she's had with each one. And like, even for example, what's coming to mind is like how to create an email list. Like that could be even taken into like a regular business. Like if you work for a job, you can, those tools, I think were just so applicable. And this was my mindset during the, before signing up was just like, I can take whatever I learned in this program and apply it to my job now. Yeah, it's all, you know, it's all about how you look at it. It's all knowledge and learning. And that serves you in so many ways in life. You know, there's no bad, um, bad way to learn. Uh, it's talking about how you weren't necessarily wanting to launch a business. You w thought you had your dream career. You were working a nine to five. Um, and then you were looking into this program that um, was a six month commitment. Was that um, a block for you at all? Like that's a, that's a commitment six months when you're working nine to five. Um, what did you think about that? Did that scare you away? Did you, um, think that you wouldn't have the time to do it? The six month commitment was a little scary because it wasn't something where I was going to show up just once and if that be the end of it, you know, um, and like, I was scared, like if I didn't like it, if I didn't, if it wasn't for me, like this six month commitment was a long time, but the six month commitment also showed me that this is like a really serious program that's going to hold space for me is going to really go in depth and teach me what I need to teach. And like, I just saw like the six month container as like, it was going to be a really transformative period of time for me. Yeah, that's an amazing way to look at it. Um, and was that, do you feel like the commitment while you're working and the business aspect of not wanting to launch a business, was that your main, um, your main reason why you might have been like hesitant to sign up or the thing that scared you the most about the course? Was it like the commitment? Was it um, the business aspect? Like what what was the fear for you heading into IEA? The fear was definitely, I think, not having any experience in energy healing and then sitting face to face with the master energy healer. Um, and then also like there in the program, I mean, and this is all like before even getting in the course, but getting ready to apply for the certification. And I remember I submitted my application maybe like 10 minutes before the closing window. So like I was really going back and forth between whether I should really join. And I was really scared of just like being in a room where like maybe there were people um, 
that had been part of Emily's world for so much longer than I had and had maybe had more experience in energy work than I had. And like, um, I know at the time, just like the environment just seemed like it was for experts already, but it just really called to me. Cause I was like, I really need to find something to change. And you know what? when I read the application, there was nothing in the application process that said I couldn't do it. You know, there was no requirement that I, I didn't need to run a business. There was no requirement that I had to have a business already. There was no requirement of a minimum, um, financial like bracket that I had to be in. I didn't have to be a six figure business person to be part of the certification program. Um, so there was nothing telling me in the website that there was no reason for me to join. So even though I had those fears for myself, when I look, when I really like sat with it and thought about it and looked at all the information, I kind of just told those fears, like, I can't, like, this is for me. Um, that made me think as you were talking, it um, totally triggered another question for me. Um, because you uh, were new to energy healing and you didn't necessarily have another modality that you knew already, you weren't um, a Reiki master or a massage therapist, um, and you really needed to learn from like the ground level. Um, and in IEA, I know from working with Emily and being part of IEA that it really um, it takes you from the ground up in, in terms of um, her healing modality. So there are seasoned practitioners who know some of the stuff, but it's always like a great refresher. And then, you know, as the course progresses, um, you know, they're all learning a lot and learning a totally new more modality. But as someone like yourself, Jamie, who is new to energy healing, did you feel like the um, energy healing training was enough to get you from um, the ground, like just the starting basic level, like, and get you going from, from go? So I'll speak from two perspectives, right? So as a practitioner, the IEA certification did such an amazing job with teaching from the ground up because um, it's broken down week to week with like modules, right? You know, the Shauna, but it's broken down week to week. So every week I would just focus on the module at hand and like really try to learn. And it was so easy because I was a blank slate. Like I I didn't have anything else going on. So I just was like absorbing whatever was in the teachings. And then from another perspective is that I'm an IEA coach now and I find it. And like, again, from my personal, like my own experience in the program and now as a coach I've re like I've noticed that students that don't have any prior um experience with like energy healing work or don't have any other um specialties it's often easier for them to go through the certification because again they're just taking it lesson by lesson by lesson by lesson where you know it is a great refresher but for some people, they just, you know, they come in and, you know, they get very excited about the work and they kind of, um, how do I say this? Like, they, they already know the basics and they, the very beginning of the program is to start with the basic like 10 minute sessions. And a lot of students I see struggle with those 10 minute sessions because they have so much expertise and so much experience. So, you know, their sessions often run so much longer. So really the program is like, it's great for everybody, but it's particular, I, I feel it's particularly, it's easier when you don't have. A yeah. The background in energy work. That makes sense. And also, I feel like for seasoned practitioners that do join, um, going back to those 10 minute sessions, it like really, it makes you cut out the fluff and like really focus and hone in, right? And that's good no matter what level you're at, um, is to like challenge yourself and say, I'm only going to hold a 10 minute container, no more. 
um, and, you know, really focus in on this person's energy and the messages coming through. So um, I always really enjoy seeing the seasoned practitioners go back to do a 10 minute session and just doing, you know, ABC, this is what a 10 minute session is um, and, and watching them, watching them go. Uh, so I wanted to also ask you in the certification, um, you, you do, um, we have student clinics. So practitioners are working with each other to, um, to do their practice sessions to kind of just get a little experience with each other. And then, um, they also are required to get clients that are outside of the program, and I'm wondering um, how that felt to you as someone who didn't necessarily have clients already or was, you know, new to being an energy healer. Um, was that scary for you to have to get clients all of a sudden? Um, and if so, like, how did you go about that? Oh, absolutely. When the first time I think I heard Emily say like, oh yeah, you're going to need 10 practice sessions on people, right? I was like, what? <laughs> right? Like it was such a fear because like now I had to, not only was this like new to me, this world, but now I was going to have to try to explain it to somebody else, like what I was doing. And this wasn't familiar with like my group of friends at all. And I was like, okay, like, how are we going to do this? And then once I, like, we got off a call and I took a step back and I said, okay, like, I really need to do this. Like I made this six, like, this is a six month container. I'm not going to fail because um, I'm really committed to my intention and my goal for the program. So I'm going to figure it out. And when I took a step back and I took a breath, I said, okay, I have 500 Facebook friends, right? I have however many Instagram followers I have. Like I have even like, I think I was in college at the time or no, I was at work. Sorry. I was at work and I was like, and you know what? Like I even have a few coworkers that like would probably help me out. I only need to do so many sessions. If I just tell them I'm working on this thing, hopefully they'll help me. And that's kind of the strategy I just went in with was like, you know, I'm doing this for myself and people, the people in my closest circle will hopefully help me, will understand my goal and help me get through the program. And that's what it is. It was just booking friends for the six month container, friends, family. And I did get some, so what's great about the program is you guys do promote in m &A, right? In the in Emily's uh, membership program, you do promote within. And I did get a few clients from that program. And then from those clients, I also got recommendations from their friends and their family. So I did have some other people, but like my main focus for getting through the certification was just like tapping into people I knew and already like that support me and that want to help me achieve my goal. Yeah. So you were looking for, um, you know, you had people to support, but also like taking a step back and thinking, um, oh, I only need, um, you know, 10 sessions this month, 10 people, or I only need eight people. Um, and looking at it like that, even though you weren't planning on building a business, like that's really impressive that you could kind of step back and say, it's actually not that hard. So hearing you say that, like, how did you, um, you obviously, I don't think you did any like marketing or sales on your, on like your Instagram or whatever. You just had um, like organic conversations with people. Is that right? Yes. Yep. I would literally just go up to my friends. Like I have two best friends and I would go up to them and I said, I told them I'm in this program. It's so I can connect to myself and understand myself better. But one of the requirements is that I do these practice sessions. Can you help me out? they're 10 minutes long, 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long. And they agreed to help me. And every month they, I told them I would need somebody, like I needed to do however many sessions every month. And they said, okay. And they had my booking link and they booked all of it. So yeah, I didn't market on Facebook. I didn't market on Instagram because again, people in my space, um, 
weren't really familiar with it. So I just really leaned into people I knew and people that I thought would really want to help me succeed. Yeah. And I'm sure they got a lot out of it too. I'm sure you didn't have to twist their arm too hard to come back for a 30 minute session. No. And they actually ended up when I told them like what I was doing and what I was learning, like they were so great. Like they encouraged me the whole time. Cause I had a lot of self doubt through this, like in the beginning of the certification. Um, but they ended up loving like the card readings and the meditation. And they always told me like, it's so calming and you're so calm and we love like the reset. It's just like a nice space. And the more that they told me that, and the more I heard it from people like closest to me, it really like helped me build that confidence to keep going month to month. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's what friends are for, right? <laughs> like, yeah, support I, you in those times. Yeah. They're amazing. They were so great. And then at the same time, then Emily started teaching me business tools right? Like the, the email things. And then I can, then I started, once I started learning that, then I started emailing my friends in like an email list saying like, Hey, next step. Like, so then I started taking on more business approach, but in the very beginning, it was just messaging people privately and saying, I have 10 sessions. Do you want one? So you were just kind of bringing up a transition period of um, the energy healing to more of the business building. Um, and I, I'm kind of curious as to how the transition from like the free sessions to the paid sessions, how did that feel for you? Were you, were you in the mindset of like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get people to pay me for this? It was easy when I did free sessions. How am I going to, um, you know, charge people? Again, yeah, very scary. It was so scary because I'm tapping into my friends. I, I leaned on my friends and family for the beginning part of the certification the cu first couple months and then now to like kind of lean in again on them like okay the next month's coming up but now I have to ask them for money yeah. I have I have a bad relationship with money and so it was very awkward for me to say in my this is what I'm thinking in my head that it was very awkward for me to ask them to pay for something um that I'm learning to do and but it was a requirement. I had to charge. Right. And, um, I just had to tell myself again, that if they really supported me, they would help me through this program and, you know, fulfill their requirement to pay for the session. And they did. When I, when I explained to them, I'm saying, I said like, Hey, I'm moving into the next group of sessions. They're a little bit longer and I'm required to charge for them are you still interested in booking? And they didn't have to say yes, but yeah, right. They, they could always just say no. Yeah. Um, they could, yeah, they could have said no. And I just said like, if you're interested, like here's my link and they, they booked, they still booked it because they were so supportive of what I was doing and the sort of, like they knew how important this was for me and it wasn't going to be forever. It was just that, you know, that, during this program and they came through and supported me and that was a big confidence booster too because it made me value like like this is the requirement it held that container and I really had to see it through you know yeah yeah um I'm I'm curious uh because you mentioned like work and just you know other people in your orbit were you able to have conversations with people that were not necessarily like your two best friends about what you were doing? Um, and did any of them book with you? That was a long time ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, I'm forcing you to remember. Did you have just like, um, like conversations out on the street, like grabbing a cup of coffee, seeing someone you hadn't seen in a while, talking to a coworker about what you were up to lately. Like, did you bring it up and did you get any clients that way? Yeah. So I definitely did mention it to obviously like my closest coworkers. Cause again, it was very strange for like, you know, a group of scientists to be like, Ooh, energy healing. Um, <laughs> yeah. So my closest coworkers, again, I explained to them like the certification program I was doing, what my intention, what my goal was and what it required. And of course I had 
I had um coworkers say like, yeah, like I'll sign up and I'll do it. And like I felt weird the first couple of times doing it with coworkers. Um, because again, we were very like scientific. But again, just like that support and especially those were people I spent so much of my time with. And once like word kind of was getting around, like with what I was doing, people started asking me questions and they could see my transition was so, or not transition, but my transformation was so, um, like you can see it from a mile away. I was, when I started the program, I was so anxious, so stressed, so overwhelmed. I was like perfectionist type. And anytime anything didn't go my way, like I would implode. And as I was going through this certification, I learned how to like manage my energy better and people could see that. And then people started asking me, like, especially at work, like, like, wow, what are you doing? Like, I've seen such change in you. I've seen such growth over the last couple of weeks, months, whatever it was, like, what are you doing? And that enabled me, like, then I was able to have the conversation, like I'm in this program. It's teaching me how to manage my energy. Like, if you're struggling with yours, I can do a session with you if you want. And then people would say like, oh my God, that would be great. And and then we'd have a session. I'm sure you sparked a lot of your fellow scientists on their own spiritual path. So kudos to you for that. Yeah. Um, you, you just mentioned like one of your biggest transformations was being able to manage your energy. Um, I'd like to know, like, is that kind of, your biggest takeaway from being in IEA um, on a personal level? Oh, yes, absolutely. That was my intention. My intention for going into IEA was to learn how to control my energy, control my emotions, like manage myself, because I I think I've like explained this before. It's that like I was so disconnected from my body that I like I didn't know what intuition was. I was making decisions for every, like based on what everybody else expected me to do. So when I heard Emily talk about intuition and connecting to your gut and learning to trust yourself, like that's what I really needed in the program. And that's what I really focused on. And after I started doing that, like I felt like my energy was better. I was happier. Like I felt less stressed, less anxious. And that's really like, my even like now like my goal is using the integrated energy alignment modality and like helping other people tap into like or understanding how they can better control their energy that was beautiful um we talked a lot about the energy aspect and um how you really connected with that and that's what you were there to learn and that's what really helped you um in your personal life and through the program um and as someone who said like they weren't really there for the business aspect or wasn't planning on starting a business um if i can make you think back to when you went through the program i know it's been a while um but was there a part of the business training that um, like really lit you up or um, that really stood out to you or something that you were that like just lit you up in that way? Like what part of the business um, training did you connect with? There's there's a ton of tools in the business aspect of it. Um, what I liked about it was that it was very, like, it was very basic in the IEA training, how to like set up your email, how to set up acuity, how to market yourself. I mean, there's some really good content in, don't get me wrong. Like there's really good content, business content in, um, in IEA. If very like small, again, you do week to week to week, like, okay, like this is how you do this. This is how you do a launch, right? Like, but it is only a six month container. So it, you know, it was like for me at the time, it wasn't overwhelming and it gave me a little bit, a little taste of what running a business was like. Um, but what has really helped me, so that like planted the seed for launching my own business. Cause I started to see like all like this back end stuff of like what happens in a business and what you need, like the tools and the resources and things like that. And so like, 
And then with the energy healing, I, I found like this purpose to help women reconnect to themselves so that they can live the life that they want and have relationships that are healthy and happy. And so once I had that and I was like, I could see, I had the tools to like kind of start a business in this program. I, it really resonated with me and wanted me to take it even further. Yeah. So it sounds like towards the end of the program, like you did launch a business a little bit, a soft launch. Um, and now you are mainly doing that full time. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So I, after the program, I was still working full time and I was trying to do this energy heal, like my energy work on the side. So I would hold like little meditations, maybe once or twice a month and do some private work, but it still really like, wasn't a business. Um, but again, I've never run a business on my own. I didn't know what it took. And then, um, the great thing about working in, or the great thing about like in this community and Emily's memberships and Emily's community is that she has so many other programs now dedicated to like building a business. So I finished IEA. It took me, I was working still energy healing a little while, still utilizing the tools that she taught me. And then I kept falling like more and more in love with it. And it resonated with me. And I kept seeing like how much people needed um, this work. And, but I said like, I've never run a business before. Like, I wish I just had a little bit more. And then I rolled in, Emily created and I enrolled in the spiritual business accelerator program. And that program has really helped launch my business. Right. There, it's a, it's a hand holding, it's a holding your feet to the fire. It's a, this, what you're, this is what you're doing this week. Um, you know, come prepared next week. We're going to walk you through a launch. We're going to, um, see what worked, what didn't. Yeah. That, that program is definitely an accelerator. It's, it's great. Um, also to see you flourish in that program as well. I want to, um, end on, my last question, which is, do you have any advice for anyone that's interested um, in joining IEA or kind of perked up about hearing about it? What would you say to them? I IEA was an amazing program. Like I said, I was unfamiliar with this work. So if you're, if you're doubting yourself that you've never done energy healing or you're not as seasoned as maybe other practitioners, or you haven't been in Emily's community that long, like none of that really matters. What matters is your intention for going into the program. So the whole time I just kept remembering that like, this is to better myself. This is to make myself more happy and like really change my world. And I kept reminding myself of that. And every time like fear crept in or overwhelm crept in like I would just always go back to my goal or my intention and that's really what helped me get through the certification and like I said I kept reminding myself that I do belong there I belong in the certification I deserve to be in this certification because there's nothing on the website there like the, there's no requirement like there's no restrictions on the program like I mentioned like I didn't you're not it's one of the only programs that like that doesn't require you to already have a business it doesn't require you to have a financial um status so just reminding yourself that like you do belong in or you are welcomed into the certification and yeah we, we will give you all the tools that you need to succeed. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story with everybody. Um, I took up way too much of your time. Uh, I was going to try to keep these conversations to like 15 minutes, but I got a little carried away. I love hearing about um, just your journey through it. And um, so thank you very much for sharing that with us um, and for joining me today. No, thank you so much, Shauna. I you I love the integrated energy alignment program and I just like want to share 
how transformational the whole process is. So any opportunity to speak about the program, I just absolutely love. And thank you for your time. Thank you for all the great questions. It was really great. Yeah, of course. So thanks again for joining. Um, and we will share uh, Jamie's uh, website link in the show notes. Um, and we will speak soon. Bye, Jamie. Bye.